Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. This presentation explains how intermediate German students will generally use the simple past tense. To talk about things in the past, German most often uses the compound past, also known as the present perfect. The compound past consists of a helping verb and a past participle. If you need a refresher on the compound past, or the differences between English and German past tense usage, those videos are in the playlist. There is a second past tense form that is used in special situations. It's called the simple past, so named because it consists of a single verb, as opposed to the compound past, which consists of a helping verb and a past participle. The simple past is used in two special situations. One of these is formal speech, such as the TV news and newspapers. When you're listening to the news or reading a newspaper or otherwise encountering the simple past, you will need to recognize the fact that the simple past is being used and recognize the meaning of the verb. You can learn to recognize the simple past forms using one or both of the following methods. One method is to familiarize yourself with the simple past form as you are learning vocabulary. Charts showing the principal parts of nearly every verb, including the present tense conjugation, present participle, and simple past, are readily available on the web. The second method is to make smart guesses. In the examples on your screen, you might be able to use context clues and the spelling of the verb fuhr to guess that fuhr is the simple past of fahren. Fuhr shares three letters, F, H, and R, with its infinitive form. Similarly, you might be able to use context clues and the spelling of the verb hielt to guess that hielt is the simple past of halten. Hielt shares three letters, H, L, and T, with its infinitive form. In addition to being used in formal speech, the simple past is typically used instead of the compound past in standard speech with a handful of very common verbs. The verbs sein and haben, along with the modal verbs, are the most common verbs that are usually formed in the simple past rather than the compound past. There is a compound past tense form for each of the verbs you see here, but it's almost never used. This means you will need to produce the simple past for sein, haben, and the modal verbs. You can find full simple past conjugations for these verbs by doing a quick online search. There's no evidence that intermediate German students need to learn to produce the simple past for the majority of verbs. Advanced students who plan to use the language in very formal contexts do need to learn to produce the simple past for all verbs. Examples might be communications or journalism majors who plan to work in the German news media, those planning to conduct research and publish in German and business professionals needing to produce reports in German. Intermediate students, on the other hand, need to do two things in regards to the simple past. They need to produce the simple past of the special verbs covered in this presentation and recognize the use of simple past with all other verbs. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.